Hello friends. Now the last topic of uh, JFAT amplifier is analysis of that is small signal analysis of common gate amplifier. In common gate JFAT based amplifier, the gate terminal is grounded. The input signal is applied to the source terminal. The source is the input terminal now, and output is taken from the brain terminal. Fine. And the procedure of analysis, if you remember, is replace all the coupling capacitors by the short circuit, replace the biasing source, biasing voltage source by short circuit and replace the JFAT by its small signal model and that will be something like this. We have the gate terminal. Now there is a source between a current source between or dependent current source between brain and source terminal. This is voltage VGS. This is plus, this is minus and we have a resistance connected between brain and source. This current source is GM into VGS. This is the small signal model for this circuit. Fine. Now, we will see the analysis. What is the meaning of analysis? We have to find the input resistance, the output resistance and voltage gain. How to do that? We will see one by one. For finding out the input resistance, I have to find the relationship between V in and I in. For finding out the output resistance, I have to find the relationship between V naught and I naught. Remember, when you apply signal here, this is assumed to be open circuit and uh, I naught will be assumed to be zero when output terminal is open circuited. And for finding out the resistance in from this side, you have to replace it by ground and find the resistance from the seen from the output side. So from this side it will be output resistance, from this side it will be input resistance. That will be procedure to be followed. Fine. Now apply KCL at node S. When you apply KCL at node S, what do we get? What is the voltage at node S? That is input voltage. So V in upon Rs is one current that is going this way then V in minus V0 upon R0. V in minus V0 upon R0 is one current in this branch. V in minus V0 by R0 is current in this branch. Then there is one incoming current. So you have it has to be minus Gm into Vgs. I repeat incoming current will be considered to be negative and outgoing current will be considered to be positive. So V voltage at this node divided by Rs is current which is outgoing going away from the node. V in minus V naught divided by R naught is current going that way. This is incoming current. So minus I in is equal to 0. So in this case I am considering uh, signal applied here. So we will not talk about R naught. This is I naught and this is considered to be open circuit terminal. Fine. Now, so please see carefully. This is voltage between input and ground. This is voltage between again. This is the input terminal and ground. So from the circuit, what do we observe? The voltage VGS is equal to minus V in or we can say V in is equal to minus VGS. That is same thing. So this gives you can replace Vgs by minus V in. So rather than writing the whole equation again, I will simply replace this Vgs by minus V in. So when you replace Vgs by minus V in, it becomes plus and it will be V in. So I am just writing just to avoid rewriting the whole equation again. Fine. As such, you have to write it again. But here just to avoid that writing this equation again, I am replacing that there itself. Fine. Now, let us see how to go ahead further. Here, I have got relationship between V in, I in and V naught. So, if I replace I in in terms of V naught, I will be able to find the voltage gain. If I replace V naught in terms of V in, I will be able to find input impedance of the circuit. So, how to do that? Let us go ahead. If you apply KCL at node D, 
let us apply KCL at node D. KCL at node D. When you apply KCL at node D, what is the voltage at node D? That is V naught. What is voltage at S? That is V in. So V naught upon R D. V naught upon R D will be current going downward direction. This is open terminal here now at this point of time. So V naught upon R D is uh, uh, current in this branch. Then V naught minus this voltage divided by R naught will be current going in R naught. So that is outgoing current again. V naught minus V in upon R naught is another current. And then this is also outgoing. So plus V G S or I'll say plus G M into V G S is equal to zero. And you know what is VGS? VGS is what? VGS is equal to minus V in. So rather than writing that v, uh, here, I'll be simply replacing VGS by minus V in. Fine. So what do we get? You get V naught into one by R D plus one by R naught. Fine. Then uh, equal to one by R naught plus G M into V in. So what do we get from here? I get relationship between output and input voltage that is equal to what? One by R naught plus G M divided by one by R D plus one by R naught, and this is what? This is voltage gain of the circuit. So we have obtained voltage gain of the circuit. That's it. Now. You see one more point here. This is equation number one. This is equation number two. So we have obtained voltage gain of the circuit. Now I have to find the input impedance. So if I replace this V naught in terms of V input here in this equation, you will be able to get the expression of input impedance as well. So from here, I will not uh, touch this equation. Here you can see this relationship here. So from here, I will rewrite it like this: V in upon one by R S. This equation plus one by R naught in minus one by R naught into V in V naught, not V in V naught plus G M into V in. That is equal to what I in. I have taken input current on that side. And this is uh, uh, this is what from equation one. I have modified this equation. Fine. Now you can see from here output voltage in terms of input voltage can be replaced. What from here? What do we get? You get V naught equal to what? This V naught will be this into V in. So you can rewrite the equation, modify this equation like this: V in into one by R S. Plus one by R naught minus one by R naught into please see it carefully that will be one by R naught plus G M divided by one by R D plus one by R naught into V in. I have replaced V naught by this into V in plus G M into V in is equal to I input current. Fine. I hope concept is clear now. How to proceed further? I have to find the relationship between what input voltage and input current. So this gives V in. Now, from here, what I find is I am trying to find the relationship between input current and input voltage. So you can write V input. I'll take just one moment. So Z in will be equal to input voltage by input current that will be equal to one upon. I am writing that G M plus. You can see it one by R S plus one by R naught minus one by R naught into what one by R naught plus G M whole divided by one by R D plus one by R naught. That's it. This is the expression of input impedance of the circuit. You can simplify it.
but I am writing the expression, final expression like this or you can simplify it further, fine. But remember one thing, I repeat, remember the procedure rather than final output, fine. Now, further, let us try to find out the output impedance of the circuit. For finding out the output impedance, what do we do? Replace input voltage source by ground. When you replace it by ground, you can see voltage at this point is 0, this is ground, so VGS will be 0. I hope it's clear. And when it is grounded, when this point is grounded, so this is by short circuited, this is ground, this terminal is ground, this is ground, so this is shorted, this is short circuited. When VGS is 0, why? Because when input is 0, so v, the voltage at this point is 0, this is 0, so VGS will be 0. And when VGS is 0, this current becomes 0. And when this current becomes 0, this is what? Open circuited. That's it. This is open circuited. Now, when you see the resistance from this side, so R0 will be simply parallel combination of R0 and RD. That's it. So, this is the expression of output resistance of the circuit. It is very simple and easy to understand. I hope concept is clear. So, this is how we can find the output resistance of the circuit. So, this is all about the analysis of common gate amplifier of JFET. So, uh, and that finishes the small signal analysis of FET. Thank you very much for watching the video.